And right now for our final conversation right here on Wake Up Night on this beautiful Wednesday morning, I have with me Oluchi Adi, who is a singer, songwriter, composer, and an actor. She definitely began her career after she participated in the reality TV show Project Fame West Africa and Nigerian Idol in 2015. She has theatrical experience across the world and has performed at various festivals including the Edinburgh International Festival in Edinburgh, the United States of America, England, Germany, Ghana, Liberia, Edinburgh and so many other cities in and outside Nigeria. In fact, she just got back now <laughs> hi oluji how are you doing I'm welcome you. back to wake up nigeria thank you thank you it's a pleasure <laughs> yes of course definitely a pleasure to have you and of course i've been complimenting the way you look i like <laughs> it it's nice it's giving me uk slash you know nigerian vibe I to give it a yeah. touch of. okay so now i mean we worked on a project not too long ago yeah. i mean and then you played i mean it was a, it was a social project right raising social issues and all of mm -hmm. that so now tell me since then i know you've been all about different things what has it been like for you since after well it's been really engaging mm -hmm. i mean i've had several theater productions that i've been on mm -hmm. and also television okay. um i recently concluded a show max series okay. Chetam. it's oh, okay. um, nice. executively produced and directed by james omokwe nice. So it's showing on Showmax now, so you get to <laughs> watch it. Oh, yeah, of course, definitely. <laughs> so uh, after that, I mean, MW the musical came. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, we traveled and yeah, it was fantastic. Yeah, so, I mean, working is one thing. And working and traveling is something totally different. So tell me, what is the experience like? And also the fact that it's a musical and knowing that you're a singer, mm -hmm. so, so it's literally <laughs> just blended. Perfect. I mean, your personality and everything. So tell me, what was that like? Amazing. Amazing. I mean, this is everything I've ever wanted to do Aww. in my life. Everything I wanted. To. So it's a combination Only of one. acting, dancing, singing, and composition. Because I, I got the privilege of composing one of the songs oh. for the musical. Okay, okay. Which of the songs? songs? It's called Survive. Survive. Yeah, because right. the play was trying to address um, marital issues mm -hmm. and also address um, drug abuse. Mm -hmm. So I wrote a song about drug abuse. Yeah. And it's it's been really good. Yeah. I mean, traveling and having to enjoy my work mm -hmm. and get paid for it. I get paid for it. <laughs> That's literally all there is. I yes. mean, doing something that literally speaks to you, yes. something you've always wanted to do and yes. getting paid for it, totally yes. um, amazing. But definitely, I'm sure there were challenges, especially with the, I mean, stage um, production is definitely, I mean, I know how gruesome it is. It is. Of the rehearsals, rehearsals. Mm -hmm. So tell me about the challenges, the most challenges for you. Um, I think it's the prolonged um, rehearsals mm -hmm. because for stage plays, you cannot, it's not something that you can alter. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, it's on stage, so yes. you're, alive. you're alive. You have to learn your lines, you have to learn your music, yeah. so there are cues that you have to There's follow. No cuts There's no cuts <laughs> unlike, <laughs> unlike television or, yes. or film, where yes. you can memorize your lines and maybe you forget, yes. and then the cameraman has to cut. But this is pure rehearsals. To get. You must be disciplined enough to have your lines, have your music, have your cues, because you're not just helping yourself, because you're, you're helping your co-actor. Co if course. you forget your lines, it you're going to... them off. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. And because it's, it, it has music in it, yeah. so there are cues for the musicians as well. Mm -hmm. So you need to just be on your A game. Mm -hmm. And to be honest, rehearsals were stressful, because it was like from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., mm -hmm. but because we had a short time to execute the job, we had to make Literally. the four weeks yeah. work for us. Yeah. It was stressful. I remember times where I would wake up with my eyes swollen or my eyes red. Mm -hmm. I was tired at some point, yeah. but... And I like to sleep. You like to so sleep, of course. I make sure that for every time that I'm free, yeah. I, I take a nap. Take a nap. No matter how short it okay. is. So those were the challenges. All right, so amazing. So I mean, doing stage play here in Nigeria, where you know it's home, mm -hmm. and then if you get that uncomfortable, you can easily just reach out and all of that. Do you understand? Also, even with the crowd, you kind of anticipate, I mean, you know what they like, what... Now, taking that to another country, mm -hmm. right, and performing, what would... I, I know for a fact <laughs> that there were some things that were easier because it was out of Nigeria. Yes, yes. And there were Ooh. things that were probably... Oh, yeah, tell us about those ones. <laughs> so, I mean, we have challenges yeah. with power supply here in Nigeria, which is very true. a very big deal. Yes. It but is. there, it's constant supply of, of, okay. of power. And we don't have lights out or and all of that. Mm -hmm. So... And the Oyibo people are quite disciplined. Yes, they are. If they say 10 a.m., it's yes. 10 a.m. Yes. Because they've scheduled their, their lives mm. within the, the hours that they yes. have to work. Yes. And if it ex exceeds, I mean, someone's going to have to pay for it. Yes. So 
the fact that people are giving call times and they stick to the call times made it easier because mm -hmm. you're more productive. Yeah, more so that was yeah, one point yeah. that I really, really did enjoy. Yeah. And of course, we had top-notch um, professionals who knew what they were doing, mm -hmm. had the best of equipments to work with. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think another ad added advantage was the fact that... Uh, oh, yeah, because you talked about... Relating the story yes, to Yibo people. To Yibo people <laughs> and the Nigerians and all that. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it was a play written in English. Mm -hmm. So, and it's relatable because yes. you speak in English and of course... Mm -hmm. So the audience now, I know a lot of Nigerians in the UK. There's no doubt about that. Oh, so, <laughs> so now, was the audience major, major Nigerians? It was actually, yeah, majorly Nigerians. Major black people. Black people. But we also had a, a couple of white okay. audiences. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now let's talk about the, the production crew. Now you spoke about having people um, there literally regulate certain things they give you a call time you have to so did you work more with the foreign crew or like was it a mixed crew it was, or mixed Nigeria? so it was mixed we had white people and we i think when we started to work with the white people more was when we got to the venue mm -hmm. for our dress and tech oh. but of course we my choreographer um is white mm -hmm. nema amazing lady amazing. by the way so we had a few dancers who were white as well and our state manager is white. Okay. All so right. it was a blend of it was both blend races. Of every, so yeah. now that, that's not the question. The question <laughs> now is <laughs> working with a, a, a foreign crew yes. now in another country and then comparing that with working with Nigerian crew, their conduct, their behaviors. Yeah, of course, we're talking about the time and how, I mean, time is definitely respected yeah, over there. Yeah. Now, yeah. tell me about the behaviors, even of, of, of crew members that literally were over there as well. The way they related with you guys, would you say there was a difference? Well, I think this, despite the fact that, I mean, Nigerians can be somehow, <laughs> we actually have, we're cautious. Okay. We're very cautious mm -hmm. and working with... And it comes out in another man's country. <laughs> no, I mean, we are, we are quite disciplined though. Yeah, it's not don't, take, don't get me wrong. True. Yeah. During the rehearsals, mm -hmm. we had people who were on time on, for rehearsals. Yeah. Nigerians yeah. who were on time. I mean, in theatre, you must be you must be on time yeah, for most of, of your work. Mm -hmm. So it was there wasn't any difference, to be honest, okay, okay. because it was almost the same work ethic that yeah, everyone that everybody exhibited. had, so, and yeah. all that. especially for um, um, stage. I mean, yes, yeah, stage, stage is exactly. really critical is really and critical. disciplined. Yes, so. very true. Very true. So now let's talk about you now. Talking about going forward, would you say you rather stage plays? Or you rather film and screen it? Ah, okay. It's it's tricky. It's a yeah. tricky question. Yeah. But, but I which think, do you enjoy more? I've been doing, I've been doing stage for ten years now, and it's it's in my blood. Oh. Even though I like film, I really do like film. I like television. Mm -hmm. I think they have their yeah um, they have their their yeah, pros and their, their pros cons. And cons yes. So I can't really pick. Pick. It's one. my art. So in art. any way that any I can way, form exhibit it, comes. I will do it. Amazing. I'm yeah. so happy for you Thank and you. definitely um, I wish you bigger things in future, <laughs> which is definitely I mean it's unsaid, Amen. right? More things are coming, right? So now we have breakfast for you. Oh, really? I hope you're hungry. I think so. Do you think so? <laughs> Amazing. Chef Blossom has literally been hard at work trying to put that together. So Thank now you. let's put over to the kitchen right. and then we'll ask you the final question. Okay. <laughs> Thank you.